Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now answering um, the October, November 2020 um, IGCSE uh, Cambridge Paper 2 Variant 3. And this question I've got to now is number 14. Here we have um, a question which tells us that n is equal to 2 to the power 4 times 3 times 7 to the power 5. And it says p times n equals k, where p is an integer and k is a square number. Find the smallest value of p. Now, if k is a square number, okay, if k is a square number and k is something times n, then we know that square numbers, if you express them as products of their prime factors, then the powers to which they're raised must be even. So, for example, this is not a square number because the powers that they're raised to are not all even. Okay, the 2 to the power 4 is fine, but the 3 is raised to an odd power, and the 7 to the power 7 is raised to an odd power. So, for me to make this into an even power, uh, to, to have them all as even powers, what I need to do is I need to take n and multiply it by 3 and multiply it also by 7. That way, if I multiply this by 3, I have 2 to the power 4 times 3 times 7 to the power 5. If I multiply this by 3 and multiply by 7, I'm going to end up with 2 to the power 4 times, and we have to add the powers, 3 to the power of 2 times and 7 to the power of 6. All of them are even powers. When they're all even powers, this is definitely a square number. If I find the square root of this, if I find the square root of this, I'm going to have an, an integer. If I take the square root of this, it's going to be 2 squared times 3 times 7 to the power of 3. That's the square root of that number. It's going to be an integer. So that is a, definitely a square number. If the, all the powers are, all, are even, it's a square number. If they're multiples of 2, basically. All right? If they're all multiples of 3, for example, then it would be, an, it would be a cube number. Okay? So this is an this is an even um, this is a an, a square number because all the indices have even powers so what did i have to do to make it become this well i had to multiply it by three times seven so we know that k is going to be n times three times seven which is going to be 21 times n so k is 21 times um n 21 times this number all right so that means P must be, if they say Pn is equal to K, P must be 21. We have to multiply this by 21 to make it into a square number. All right, so there's the answer to number 14. I hope that was clear. This is all to do with prime factors and the definition of a square number when you think about um, a number split up into its prime factors. Okay, so that's 14 done. Um, thank you for watching. Other questions from this paper can be found by clicking on the um, playlist that will be on the end of this video and also on the card at the top as the video is playing you'll also see a link to the playlist other questions that are t dealing with um, prime factorization um, can be found in this link over here and that's going to be under basic arithmetic basically that that um, playlist and you can click on this link to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and see you soon